Edward Stevenson's Heimless Wolf Botnet, and the following is technical analysis on Washington Mutual Incorporated stock symbol WAMUQ. What I've drawn in here is by using this low right here, the lows are coming off these candles right here, as well as this period here, is an uptrend trend line. This is long term support. It has supported the price quite well over the past few months, whereas this one right here would have been resistance right up until. Monday's trading session where the price broke out and broke above resistance making this a supporting level. Together this forms an uptrend and in essence this shows the progress that the price has made over the past few months. The emphasis in this video as I'm sure you're getting uh, the intonation is not the past three trading sessions where the price has pulled back. We know the price has declined in the market. Everyone knows that. I know that. You know that. Our cousin Billy Bob knows that. But the emphasis is to focus on a bit of a longer term perspective and take a look at the progress the price has made. Again, that's best depicted by this uptrend trend line right here, where we had a low at 092, and now we're trading at what looks like 37 cents per share. Following Thursday's trading session, we tested some key rather some key supporting levels. The first I like to mention is 34 cents per share, and that is based on the high coming off this trading session right here, as well as coinciding with the high, um, rather that's the close just prior to that technical breakout and the low off of this trading session right here. On Thursday's trading session the price pulled back pulled down to 35 and a half cents per share however it closed at 37 cents per share holding this supporting trend line as well as, as, well as this one at 34 cents per share. These trending white dots underneath the candles suggest a bullish market this is called parabolic SAR reference in the top left hand corner parabolic SAR coincides with that key supporting trend line at 34 cents per share. In the event that the market pulls back we'd like to see this trend line hold. That's the ideal. If that does not occur not to worry we have support at 34 cents per share followed by the 20 day simple moving average at 29 followed by the 50 day simple moving average at 22 cents per share as well as several key supporting levels for instance this breakout right here and some other minor resisting levels rather some minor supporting levels that will do their best that is longs that I find the market attractive at a certain price will do their best to support the price at that point in time again if the market pulls back now the decline itself that we're seeing is very natural the market rallied quite substantially in these three trading sessions right here broke out of this uptrend uh, broke above resistance which is quite rare to see in an uptrend and on above average volume which was very bullish however the market became overbought quite quickly as you can see the price broke well above um, the upper or top Bollinger Band which would mean that it was overbought so the price gapped up to 70 and started pulling back ever since now in the event these supporting levels um, break that's not not, nothing much to worry about in the sense that we are still in an uptrend so if you're looking at this from a longer term perspective we'd like to see this trend line hold however Thursday's trading session we saw indecision in the market meaning neither the bears nor the bulls really won I understand the price declined 12 percent however you can see that the price pretty much opened and closed at the same mark and what this means is that the bulls attempted to push this back up after the bulls helped the price decline for two consecutive trading sessions which makes this doji candle signify potential reversal in the market what needs to happen is confirmation that is another candle following this one that is green and shows strength in the market hopefully on strong volume on the other hand we have the event that the bulls prosper and the market heads up and we're looking at resistance at the 40 cent mark in my opinion that's uh, the key mark for the price to tackle and that's based on the close and open on these tr two trading sessions right here as well as uh, 40 cents per share being a mark that Thursday's trading session could not surpass in the event that 40 cents per share does fall it will become a key supporting level we also have minor resistance at 42 cents per share which will indicate with a thin dashed red line to indicate minor resistance. Following 42 cents per share, we are 
supposedly, again, in the event that the market does uh, head to the upside, we will have to tackle resistance at 49 cents per share, which is the upper or top Bollinger Band. In any event, if the price can rebound off of any which supporting level, be it even this one right here, let's say the price pulls back to this key supporting level and starts rebounding off of it, well that would be a buy signal for you if you are a swing trader. That means the price has found a bottom, uh, a new bottom, again a higher low compared to this low right here, this one here, and even more so this one here, which means the uptrend is still intact and the upside is more or less unlimited assuming that the price continues to break past resisting levels and making new highs. What I'd like to do here briefly is just comment on two indicators I've brought up here to the top. Um, these are longer term indicators, Trix and Chaikin Money Flow. What Trix is showing us is the fact that just prior to March we saw an uptrend form and indeed that happened because if we take this vertical line and just draw it in uh, right around where we saw bullish activity start taking place right around here let's say the breakout you can see that tricks already made a bullish crossover just prior to that showing that uptrend in the market has occurred um, and of course that doesn't depict the whole what we're looking at the four month period but it does show that even on the in the past month we are still seeing an uptrend we haven't seen any bearish crossovers. Chike and money flow positive for the first time since September. This is a bullish signal, especially if you are a market long in WAMUQ. So to quickly wrap up, yes, we are pulling back. The past three trading sessions we've declined. However, that's nothing major to worry about in the sense that we are still in an uptrend. If you are long on this market, um, this doesn't necessarily mean anything. We've seen declines uh, in this market. We've seen nastier trading sessions. We've seen declines like this, pullbacks, and they're just a healthy part of trading. The market is overbought. It pulls back. It becomes oversold. It attracts new investors, new traders, new swing traders. And once again, the market begins making higher lows and higher highs, setting new highs and perhaps new 52-week highs, which of course is bullish activity and ideally what you like to see happen in a market where you're invested. Once again, this was Edward Stevenson with TimelessWealth.net. I encourage everyone to visit my site, TimelessWealth.net, and join my free newsletter for overlooked trading and undervalued investment ideas. In the past, we've had quite a bit of success with both our trading and investing ideas. We've also introduced a new service called the Market Watchlist, where we annotate several charts each and every week and provide guidance in terms of entries and exits and risk management. And last week, our watch list earns on average 32 percent uh, per trade or per pick if you will as well as an investing idea that we sent out just a few weeks back rallied more than 70 percent to date and we're looking at introducing more and more ideas that uh, find themselves somewhere along the lines of what I've just mentioned so in any event visit timelesswealth.net and see what we have to offer you Thank you for listening.